And it is um, It is a beautiful kind of kind of halfway hungover, beautiful whatever hungover. No, what? Huh? I don't know. A Sunday morning, and we're looking at the Walrus Audio Voyager. I got to put this over here, otherwise it's not in the shot. I don't know why it should be. Um, so I always describe the Voyager as a two B screamy kind of pedal. <laughs> Might not be, because your guitar sound isn't coming through as much as it would be on a 2B screaming kind of pedal, but I don't care, I use it as a 2B screaming kind of pedal, and I love it for that. Later on in this video, we're talking to Colt Westbrook from Westbrook or Brock. Colt? I don't know. What do I know? I call you Colt. Um, from Walrus Audio, he's a funny guy. Of course, in the video, I forget to turn on my... I forget to turn on my main camera, so you see me in the corner, tiny, but that's okay, we see Colt bigger. And we talk about a myriad of things about the, uh, of the Voyager pedal. So, um, here's my setup. Yes, yes, the Hartung Wantage 57 Embrace. Uh, but of course, you want to hear it uh, with single coil, so we have this LSL Satikoi here, an S-type guitar. Here it comes. The Voyager is going into the orange amp detonator, A, B switch, or A and B, which is going into a Sir Badger 18 that is going into a Torpedo Studio in stereo, so stereo miking off caps. In the effects loop of that, we have the Bellwether, 
analog delay from Walrus Audio. And the other amp is actually a 1 watt Blackheart killer ant, which is going downstairs into the basement into a 112 cap, which is being mic'd with the Sennheiser E609 coming up here back into the Apollo. Yeah, that's the setup, because with a pedal like this, if you can push an amp, let's push two different amps and really give you the demo, because the pedal has three knobs. I mean, it's very simple, but let's give you the full thing. So here we go. I'm going to go a little bit again. Everything else, noon. I always like to be as clean as possible when we start. I think that's important. Ha! When you pull the string around the corner, it doesn't work. a beautifully slightly cranked sound. You can get a little bit less, a little bit more volume, more tone. If you want even less, you gotta check out the Messner. Review coming. Walrus Audio Messner. Um, but obviously we want more, because less is not more. More is more, as Ingby Mumsin said, and he's right. <laughs> ID, you can do that. If it's, not, if it's not body enough, you can do that. continues. I learned that once. Beautiful. Oh, let's do this. So we got Z single coil. It obviously pushes less because that's what it does. get to G minor from E major, who knows? It's 
son on the bell with her. <laughs> compress too much but it compresses enough for the notes just to be there it's beautiful <laughs> so let's switch amps we're going to the one watt killer end <laughs> that's the killer end by itself at about three o'clock one knob, that's it. Pretty mean bitey with this guitar right now. Guys, no shit. Um, this is actually, and I'm not kidding you. This is this is actually the amp that I used on a whole bunch of albums as my lead sound. I used that amp push with an SD1, which now I would use the Voyager for. Um, and come on, how good is that for recording? That is the recording solution. It's a one watt amp. It's really quiet to record. And it uh, can freaking scream. So again, with this guitar. And now with the Voyager. That's freaking cool. Now you're asking yourself, how cool it would it be to have both amps on at the same time? Being pushed with this. Let's try it. Thank you. 
I don't know any songs. That's pretty awesome. A little bit better weather. Which of course is only on the Sir Badger. to one amp. Obviously, we have some phasing issues there when both of them are on, but it's fun, you know, because I can. So, therefore, it is fun. Let's talk to Colt. Uh, okay, wait, where was it? Um, so, uh, hello people, not you, the other people. Um, we're here with uh, Colt Westbrook, um, you know, the, the the guy from Walrus. So, because I thought it's way cool to actually, you know, bring in the people that make these and ask them questions where they go like, you know, like that. Um, so, uh We're gonna do a couple of these sessions because they have too many pedals. So today I did the Voyager, the Mayflower, and the Jupiter. And I'm guessing the video that we're in right now is the Voyager video. So, oh, yeah. uh, because these will be cut into their respective videos. Um, and we've just run through the whole demo, I guess, which I haven't recorded, but I will record. But this is after the demo, so there's some kind of time travel thing going on again, you know? I love time travel. I'm um, really good at it, too. So I've told you many times that for me, this is like the to be screamy kind of pedal. And you're always like, yeah, but that's not what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know, we, we can be honest. No one's watching us, right? So no, one, um, no one's watching us. No. Yeah. So what was the idea behind the Voyager? Other than the name that we and the other stuff that we get to like the circuit. What? How did you get you to know? it? Um, the Voyager is, uh, the Voyager is a very light, light gain overdrive. Um, I call it, I call it my tone thief. And so it really, uh, it's not, it's not very transparent. So it will really take over the tone of the guitar and you'll hear, ah, oh, that's a Voyager, you know? Um, it's just a, just a beautifully textured breakup overdrive. Uh, it's got that nice tone shaping. So if you want it kind of use it in like a, as a preamp, um, that's totally possible. And uh, yeah, it just has that nice, lush, mid-range bump. Well, for me, it's uh, like it, when I'm using it and I'm comparing it to other tube screamer type pedals, to me... You, it, but you hear what you hear, man. If that's what you hear, then that's you. Like, you just, you just be yourself. And it's, uh, b but it's... It's doing that type of thing, that mid rangey kind of focusing on the mids and, and that, that creaminess. It's creaming. Um, yeah. But somehow it's more fun. It's the only way I yeah. can possibly describe it. I mean, I have a whole bunch of green pedals here and kind of the, I was thinking the color would be hinting at the function because a lot of companies do that. But um, it kind of feels whenever I, I, I push an already cranked amp with it, It's just the tiny bit more fun. And I can't say because it's got more attack or I cannot put my finger on it why the Voyager is better than other 2B screamy kind of pedals. But it is. But you're saying that's not at all what you were going for. No, it's not. But that's okay. If that's what you hear, then that's what you hear, cool. you know? And, and the extra fun is in the, is in the joy, the joy circuit. So there's a, after, after the... Uh, effective signal passes through and, and blends back with a little bit of unaffected. Uh, it, there's a joy circuit that it passes through to give joy to the to the player. So it's very it's, it's so it's semi it's semi emotionally based also. So so, Walrus Audio always full of shit. That's pretty much that. That should be a tagline, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're I've heard of, that my whole life. We're full of shit. No, exactly. it's it's absolutely awesome, and I, I've I've heard you say several times, but the guys out there don't know um, that you have someone doing the graphics for you. It's always like the same guy doing those amazing graphics. Yeah, 
And for some reason, amazing graphics on a pedal, even though it should not mean anything because they're on a board at our feet at the gig, it makes make a pedal nicer. Why is that? Why do we like nice looking pedals? Well, I think I think products that hit more than one sense, like more than one of our senses, really uh, uh, captivate us a little bit more. Kind of like similar to, I love this album, but the album art really adds a lot to it. You know, like the album art kind of offers a visual yep. inspiration that interprets the music. And so I really feel like pedal art is the exact same way. It kind of adds a little bit of inspiration to the, the sound that we're creating. That, so how can we make them smell like something? That's in, a, that's in 2017, man. <laughs> Spurts of Spurts of scent, you know, <laughs> spitting it out. Uh, no, I absolutely love it. I mean, we, we know the build quality is 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 top notch. Um, uh, I really like those um, big ass rings on the LEDs. Everything just feels very nice. Love the knobs. I mean, I'm um, you know, yeah, uh, there's a little bit of knobs. Um, Uh, uh, the guy from uh, uh, Scott Phillips from Mahalo Amplification, he just posted on Facebook. <laughs> um, he was like, well, uh, Uh, really nice nobbiness, and I said, no, no, nobility, <laughs> nobility. I love, I love nobility. Nobility. That's that's, that's what it's. <laughs> no, they they are uh, they are smaller, but very easily readable. Everything just feels high end. Uh, and previously, previously, um, the price rip was also high end, but now we are under two <laughs> hundred bucks, dude. So we this is a serious cont contender for a lot of other pedals. Um, something I'm going to ask you on the other. The, the other ones too because you know this is going to go into all the different videos yeah. um this rubbery ring around the nine volt input yes i first thought this is a very nice gimmick it's a nice add-on unnecessary but nice what yeah. was the idea behind it uh just to create just to create closure to a to a cut You know, every other cut on there has a washer, has a knob, has a stomp switch, and it just creates a border, you know. And and, and that's, you know, uh, I mean, if we can get real into it, you know, the, su the supplier that used to make those, the, the polymer used to be different. And they used to be a lot thicker and tougher, but the but the plastic has changed. The rubber's changed recently a little bit. And so we're also, and it's really, it's really hard part to find. So we're kind of in limbo at, if we're going to keep... Uh, keep supplying those on future products so uh i mean the that, that is one thing i would i would criticize a little bit that it looks like the nine volt uh jack jack plug jack i never, I never that, 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 that thing in there um yeah. is actually on the circuit board and not uh uh, uh screwed on to the, the the casing which yeah. you were trying to make nicer with with the ring and probably not an issue for anyone who buys it puts it on their board and probably moves it on the board every year once for me they yeah. move around the studio quite a bit and i put it on the table and i plug him in plug him out more than the average guitar player so my gripe is probably not an issue but i find these rings lying around so i always like well, find you need to find something else to do with them then now i'm not gonna go there i'm not gonna, <laughs> they are too small no. they are too small I'm not gonna go there. Um, no, uh, and then I find a little rubber ring. I'm like, wait, wait, is that from another Walrus pedal? What pedal was that too big? And I, I get scared that I lo lost the ring. But when you yeah. play, they they do come out. It's again, guys. It's not an issue because you don't do what I do. You know, um, it's, it's it's a nice it's a nice gimmick. If the ring's gone, the ring's gone. Who cares? So Voyager, pretty much my two cents. Uh, it, it is killer. It is my go-to green pedal it absolutely is you need to go to green you know it and and this is the way to go um what you should have done name wise be super star trekky and nerdy yeah and call it vija oh you know Voyager from from Cap yeah captain janeway from star trek boy no No, uh, from the whoa. first are very we, sucky star, star trek voyager no yeah no but from the first star trek movie The really, oh, the really sucky one with Kirk, the first Star Trek ever movie. I'm a next generation guy. Yeah, I, I, me, me too. But in the yeah. movie, uh, there's this alien, these these robots, or what, these artificial intelligence people. They, they, they're coming from very far away. And they yeah. pray to this being, Vija. And they always say Vija, Vija. In the end, it comes out that they actually found Voyager 
millions of light years away. And on the everything was kind of rubbed off and the O, Y and A was rubbed off. And they're praying to, to Voyager, but at, uh, for them it's just called Vija because three letters are missing. And then, they, then Kirk and Spock have to explain, this came from us. This, and uh, they're calling Vija like the creator or something. It's, the movie's boring, but it's really brilliant. Do these, a- a- do they s- these aliens speak English, though, it yes. sounds like? Yeah. Isn't that something? They learn English from Vija. Yeah. They must have done that. So what? that would have been. What Star Trek movie is this? Which uh, one it, is that? It's the original Star Trek movie, Star Trek the movie. That's the original? Yes. I haven't seen it. It's 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 not great, but that that aspect is really cool, and um, course, that would have been super nerdy to call it Vija. It would it would have been maybe a uh, maybe version two coming out. Vija. Move moving on. Let's move on. Moving on. Okay. Um, I'm, writing, I'm writing down uh, Star Trek notes also. <laughs> So what do I think? I mean, I think we've said it all. The Voyager, because of its built-in, we've just learned this built-in fun circuitry. Um, it's just, I can't describe it. It's your typical volume gain tone pedal. But it's always just fun. It's, it makes you smile when you play it. So what more do you want? I mean, we all want to pleasure ourselves in certain ways. And for me, putting the Voyager on the table is always a pleasurable sensation. So therefore, I highly recommend the pedal, which is now, thanks to the efforts of everyone involved selling it, stores, distributor, and Walrus Audio, um, they're bringing this to you for under 200 bucks, and I think that is absolutely... It's not a steal, it's still quite a bit of money, but it's absolutely recommended for that price. It's not overpriced anymore. Um, absolutely a great pedal. To push, to slightly fizzle, to do many different things. Obviously, as you can see, depending on the amps you have. And obviously, the more amps, the better. So, thanks, Frank, for still leaving this here. <laughs> um, thanks, Nicole. Thanks to everyone. I'll see you. Flippity flop. You know the stuff. <laughs>